Hey everyone, and welcome back to my channel. I'm Jen, alive and pretty much well, and welcome to my channel. Oh, this is my channel. Welcome. So, I'm here to address the rumors. I am definitely not dead. I don't know where the rumors started from or who started them. I'm sure that there are quite a few people out there who wish I were dead, but alas, I am not dead. I am alive. So, where have I been? What's been going on with me? I haven't posted a video, I think, in four or five days now. And so, posting a video now is feeling a little bit weird and like, I need to get my training wheels back on and get into it. And I've definitely missed posting. I've thought about it every day and I've missed you guys. I've missed interacting with you guys. I was not on social media all day. Thursday, Friday, and most of Saturday, the only time I logged on to Facebook, well, was to Messenger, was to talk to my neighbor because she worries about me, and that's how her and I communicate is through Messenger. So I would just message her occasionally on Messenger, but as far as being on Facebook or anything else to post or read posts or to interact with anybody, I was off of all social media most of, from Thursday, most of the weekend so on Sunday evening I had a few people start messaging me over and over and over again several people saying that they heard that I had died and that to please talk to them and they saw that I was online and please answer them and I appreciate the concern I honestly do that makes me feel so loved and so appreciated and missed and I am glad that people miss me and think about me um, but like I said I don't know where those rumors started at I am very much alive so on Wednesday evening I was emotionally upset and I went to bed early and I woke up a couple hours later and I only slept for a couple hours and when I woke up, my whole body was aching. I had a headache. I was really thirsty. And I knew that I had a fever because those are the common symptoms that I always have when I get a fever. So I took my temperature and I did have a fever. It was 100.4. It wasn't too high of a fever, but still it was a fever enough for my body to be reacting and I was fighting something. So I slept all night Wednesday night and then into Thursday, I think I slept over 12 hours just getting up to go to the bathroom and keep refilling my water because I kept drinking water, water, I was just really thirsty. So I felt my fever, I took Tylenol as well, so my fever had went down to 99.4 on Thursday. And by Thursday evening, I was feeling a little bit better. I still ached all over, and I ached all over into Friday, but I was feeling better. But then around Thursday evening, my anxiety kicked in. And I've talked about this before, but to, I know I have a lot of new viewers that I haven't really elaborated on my anxiety too much lately. Um, my anxiety all centers around that there's something wrong with me and when I feel just the slightest thing wrong with me I blow it out of proportion and I think I'm dying so the people who made up the rumor that I was dying maybe they were ch channeling my energy somehow because I was positive that I was dying of something I didn't exactly know what but in my head I was dying and this is something that happens to me well I have anxiety all the time but every spring, usually around this time, March, April, I suffer from anxiety really, really bad. Usually my panic attacks are just quick. Um, I suffer from, I'm trying to think of how to, just regular panic attacks. I also suffer from, I don't know, suffering, that I don't know like using that word. I also have generalized anxiety. So there are times when I, I'm anxious for hours at a time. Um, that isn't too often, but this is what happens every spring and it has for the past probably seven or eight years that I have noticed the trend. And 
when that happens, I have severe anxiety for days at a time. And that kicked in around Thursday or Friday. And from Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, I suffered horribly from anxiety. From the time I woke up to the time I went to sleep, I would start feeling peaceful. I would wake up, I was like peacefully sleeping. I have slept really well. And I would wake up and I would be like, oh, I'm feeling a lot better. And then just when I would think that, the anxiety would kick back in and I would start shaking and just having all kinds of anxiety symptoms of normal anxiety. So it was a lot and it's a lot of times it's more than I can handle at times. Um, but I don't take anything, I don't take any kind of prescription medications for my anxiety. So, and that's by my choice because I don't like how they make me feel. So I just struggle through it. One thing that has helped me a great deal because today I'm feeling a lot better. Today is Monday. I'm not sure if I'll upload this on Monday or if I'll upload this on Tuesday, but something that has helped me a great deal is I made an essential oil balm. This is six drops of eucalyptus oil, six drops of peppermint oil, and six drops of orange oil, essential oils. And it's mixed with about Oh, about a tablespoon to two tablespoons of coconut oil and then you let it set up and then I put it on my wrists and on my chest and you inhale the aroma of the essential oils you can also put this in a diffuser if you want just the oils without the coconut oil um, I choose to put it in the, with the coconut oil to put it on my skin because it helps it seems like it helps faster and this has really helped relax me a great deal so this has been like a miracle cure for me um, so I am feeling better today I still have still feeling anxious and kind of not like myself so it's gonna take a while for me to get completely back to where I was pre-anxiety spring anxiety pre bug whatever I had I did go to the doctor this morning and there's a couple of things that we're looking into had some blood tests done um, I'll elaborate more on that when I have some kind of definite answers I don't want to go into anything right now before I know anything but your prayers and thoughts and best wishes would be greatly appreciated but as for now I'm alive not planning on going anywhere um, all my vitals are fine and I'm doing good so far so that's where I've been and I've missed you guys a lot I've missed interacting with you guys um, so there's a few other things that I want to talk about I got some awesome things in the mail and one also got a cat hair um, One is something I ordered from a fellow YouTuber, and another is a gift from a fellow YouTuber. And I will show you, first of all, I opened the package. I have not looked at it yet, but I know what it is because I ordered this from Amy, Amy's Life Journey. She makes all the cool merch, and she can um, vinyl anything. And I had her make me a tumbler. And I'm so excited because I customized it the way I wanted it and the colors I wanted it and she showed it to me and it looked amazing in the picture and I cannot wait right now to open it so I cut the package open and I'm going to see I still have a cat here somewhere somebody said kissing a cat with lip gloss is not good and that's the truth um so okay here we go I have my hand on it I can feel it This is even prettier than the picture. I wish you guys could see it in person. It's pink and brown because pink and brown are my two favorite colors. 
combinations. It says slay, sparkle, and repeat. Well, no, there's no and. Slay, sparkle, repeat. And then on the other side, it has my name. Isn't that awesome? And it has a straw. Oh, it it's like a blender straw. Ooh, nice. I don't know how many ounces this is. I would guess 20 ounces maybe. I'm not good with, as we all know, I'm not good with measuring ounces and cups and such, but I'm guessing probably 20 ounces. Yes, it's the Petal Blender Straw. I love it. Amy does such good work and it's beautiful. And it's so sparkly. Look at that. Slay, sparkle, repeat. That's me. That's my motto. And it has my name. I love it, Amy. Thank you so much. I'm going to leave a link to Amy's channel in the description below so you can go over and see all the awesome things that she's created. I'm definitely thinking about buying another one because... I am definitely going to buy another one, but I'm thinking of what I want on it and what I want the colors to be, but I'm definitely going to buy another one. So definitely go check her out. She can make you anything you want. Look at that. Look at that sparkle. I mean, come on. Who doesn't like sparkle, right? Love it. So thank you so much, Amy. I love it. And I will definitely be in contact with you for another one soon. So that was what I got from ordered and then I got a sweet present from a fellow youtuber and her name is Nassin and her channel is Keto Mama and she is such a sweet person and I adore her and she sent me a note I'm not gonna read the note because it's kind of personal but she made me something and it is beautiful I already looked at it so I'm I can't tell you that I did I'm not going to pretend like I didn't look at it already because I was just anxious and I couldn't wait for you guys. You guys took too long. So I went ahead and I opened it and it is beautiful. I want to learn how to do this. I mean, this is way creative. I mean, you guys like the cup and this and uh, just creative. Look how pretty that is. It's a sun and a moon. How me is that? I mean, that is just totally me. I want to learn how to do this. I have no clue how you do this. But look how beautiful. So thank you so much, Nassine. That is beautiful. I don't know if she sells these. Um, if she doesn't, she should. And so I'm not going to throw her under the bus and say that she's going to sell you one of these. I don't know if she does. But I will definitely leave a link to her channel so you can check her out. And um, maybe she will let you know if she sells them or not. But this is gorgeous. Thank you so much. I would love to put that on my um, wall behind me. Hmm. Perhaps. Or over there. Or somewhere where I can see it all the time. So thank you so much, Nassine. That was so special and wonderful of you. I can't say thank you enough. That means a lot to me. Okay, so the last little thing that I have to talk about, well, actually we'll talk about my food and how that's been going. I know I didn't start with a card reading. This is since it's my first video back. I thought maybe I would just skip that for now. And just this is just kind of like an update. Where have I been? And filling you guys in on what's going on with me. Um, but I'm still going to finish with the 21 days of the mirror work of healing your life as well as I'm still doing the obesity code food thing. There were some days that I didn't eat and I'm going to be honest with you guys, I did have cereal a couple days when I was not feeling well. I was craving cereal really bad. So I bought a box of Reese's Puffs and I had a bowl of cereal. I had one bowl of cereal two different days, I did. Um, 
but I didn't have huge bowls. I just had a regular size bowl and I counted that as my one meal um, on the days that I was only eating one meal and probably not the healthiest choice that I had, but seeing as how I was not feeling well and struggling with anxiety, just trying to get through that anxiety was my on my top of my priority list. So eating a chicken breast and salad was really not a priority to me at that point. Um, like I said, I definitely didn't go into any kind of a binge. I didn't feel like it. I in no way felt like eating anything extreme. When I get anxious like that, I don't. There, I have levels of anxiety because when I'm kind of anxious, I eat. But when I get to the level of pure panic and that level of anxiety, I don't feel like eating. I literally just lay in bed. That's it. I don't even get on my phone. I don't listen to music. I don't read. I just lay there. And so that's what I did most of the weekend. It sounds kind of boring, and it was pretty boring, but that's how I cope. But I am back at it today. Today is a day of fasting for me. I'm going to be eating dinner, and I will definitely record what I have for dinner. Like I said, today is Monday. I don't think I'm going to upload this on Monday. That You'll probably see this on Tuesday. But I will definitely... I was thinking about doing what I eat in a week and show you my week of meals instead of doing like daily what I eat because there are f what four days out of the week that I only eat dinner so it's not worth just uploading one little clip of what I eat so I was thinking of doing a whole week of dinners what I eat in a week so I was thinking about doing that starting next week so I'll probably record my dinner tonight and then you can watch for that next week um, but still on track and I will update you guys on Wednesday for my end of my 21 days of the obesity code I have no intention of stopping. I am having great success and feeling really good with this way of eating this food plan food management Eating schedule I have so I'm going to keep on with it And you guys have given me a lot of good suggestions about books to do for our next readings together I am looking forward to picking one of those and starting a new Readings with you guys as soon as we're done this one I know we're I've fallen a few days behind since I haven't been uploading, but we will get through this um I'm also looking into getting some new cards, so we have some new cards to work through. I know we haven't really touched on all of the cards yet, but I definitely want to kind of mix it up and select different sets of cards to read from every day. So a lot of good things I have planned for the coming days and a lot of good videos I have scheduled in my head, so hopefully I will get those videoed and recorded and get those up soon for you guys because I miss you guys. Um, the last little thing I wanted to touch on was something that it was brought to my attention before I got sick and I planned on addressing it and then I got sick and I didn't. And that was people, a few people, I have stopped feeling like I need to justify myself to anybody. I don't have to justify myself to anybody or what I do or why I do it. I do what I do because it's what I choose to do and what I feel is best for me and feel that is right. But I do want to address this. So that is that there were a few people saying that I made the Amy Slayton video to get views, to get subscribers, and to make money. And I am in no way saying that in the past I have not labeled videos to get views. Uh, that is why we are all here on YouTube. If you upload a video, you want views. That is why we're here. We don't upload videos hoping that nobody watches them. So I don't care who you are on YouTube if you upload. If you are the top uploader, um, I know that he's not the top uploader anymore, but Shay Carl, he was that was in my my YouTube generation. Um, they label videos so they could get views. CTFXC Charles Trippy, he labels videos to get views. Down to the smallest YouTuber like me, we all label our videos to get views. That's why we're here. As far as using somebody's name, 
not the case. My two highest videos views that I have have nobody's name mentioned in them and it's not about anybody. But when I do make a video and I include somebody's name, it's a response to them. It's not exactly talking directly to them. I mean, sure, if they watch the video then that's fine and I, I would talk directly to them. But if I make a video with somebody's name in it, like Amy Slayton, the video I made, the reason I made that video is because I felt extremely strong about that. And somebody said, well, I said I wasn't going to create drama. And I, that was not a video intended to create drama. That was a video because I am very passionate about that subject. I am very passionate about animals and the treatment of animals. Like I said in the video, two things that I am extremely passionate about and driven about is the treatment of animals and the treatment of children. Those are the two things that when they are mistreated that I see red and I do not tolerate. So when I made that video and I used her name, was my purpose for using her name to get views? Half yes, half no. Yes, I wanted that video to get views. I am not going to lie. I wanted that video. I wish it would have gone viral. I wish it would have hit millions and millions of views because that's how passionate I feel about that subject. Not for any other reason, but because I want my feelings to get out there and I want people to know how I feel about that subject. That video did not do get any more views than any of my other top videos views in my video log. Um, so it wasn't like I was trying to use specifically her to get views for my channel or for my gain. It was because of that was the subject and I wanted that video to get views. So that brings us back to why am I making videos? I've had people, several people in several videos talking about how I'm making videos because I want to make money. And to be completely honest with you guys, I would be lying if I said that I am not enjoying the extra money that I am making from YouTube. It is not a huge amount of money. I am having to live off of this money. This is my income now and I am using it as an income. So yes, I am enjoying making money off of it. Am I making these videos just for that? Absolutely not. So yes, I am making videos because I enjoy the compensation from it. But would I still be making these videos if I wasn't being compensated? Absolutely. I am putting myself out there because I feel that somewhere someone can benefit from my struggles and I, like I've said before, my deepest desire is to help others and encourage people and I know people can say, well, what do you have to encourage people for because you're not doing very well and yes, I have struggled. I have struggled a lot but that's one thing that I think inspires others is knowing that Struggle is real, and even when you struggle, you don't have to give up. You keep pushing forward, and you keep trying. And I know for me that that is an inspiration, and that's something that inspires me and other people, knowing that people don't give up. So that is the truth. I would be here regardless. So yes, the extra money that I am able to make and save is coming in very handy. I'm currently saving to buy living room furniture because I don't have any living room furniture. Being honest with you guys, everybody wants an apartment tour and I want to give you one, but I am I feel a little self-conscious because my living room is empty. I have a bookshelf and a little chair by my window but and a table, but I don't have any living room furniture at the moment. So that is what I'm currently saving for and I hope to be able to do that by summer hopefully maybe I'll hopefully make enough money by then to get some nice living room furniture I'm not looking for anything fancy just something that I can put in my living room to sit on would be nice so yeah I have a goal so yeah those are some of the one of the things that 
is the benefits of getting paid to do videos on YouTube. Like I said, I would still be uploading videos regardless of whether that I'm monetized or not. And I made videos long before I got monetized. I made videos years ago and I wasn't monetized. So I'll still be here whether I'm monetized or not making videos, but there is definitely benefits to it. I'm just being honest with you guys. So people that are out there saying that I'm doing this just for money and because I'm greedy, it's absolutely not the truth. So that clears that up, why I'm here. I'm here because I care. I am here because I'm trying to better my life in all aspects of my life and I'm here regardless of being paid or not. So there you go. That is my update for the day. Where I've been, still alive, waiting for some test results from the doctor to figure things out, asking for prayers, wonderful gifts that I got, my son and my cup. So thank you so much to Nassine and to Amy. I will, like I said, I will leave their links in the description below. And I think we're back on track and we will be back on track with hopefully daily uploads now or semi-daily or semi-regularly. Um, but I'm back, I'm feeling a lot better. And thank you all for the concern, I appreciate it. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye everyone.